Hi, it's Kaylee from Crochet Unraveled, and today I'm going to show you how to make a tassel, which is a really good way to embellish your crochet projects. And it's really simple to learn, and you can do it with any type of yarn and at any size. I also wanted to make sure that I taught you how to make a tassel because I'm going to be including them in some of the patterns here at Crochet Unraveled on my YouTube channel as well as my website crochetunraveled.com. So I wanted to make sure that you knew exactly how to make them and make those projects really beautiful and professional looking. So if you're excited to get started, go ahead and hit that like button and make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. So for materials, you will use whatever yarn that you choose. I'm using a DK weight paint box yarn, some sharp scissors or trimmers. It's important that they're sharp because you're gonna be cutting through a lot of yarn, a tapestry needle, and then a flat object. It could be a piece of cardboard, a small book, anything that you think will work to wrap your yarn around and that is about the same length of the tassel that you want to make. So take your flat object. I've cut out a piece of a poster board and you're just going to wrap your yarn around it. And the number of times is up to you. I'm wrapping my yarn about 75 times because I want a really nice and full tassel and I'm using thinner yarn. So use your judgment on this part. Once you've wrapped your yarn as many times as you want to, go ahead and cut that end. And we're going to cut two lengths of yarn, each about two to three feet long. It's better to go a little longer rather than shorter because we don't want to run out of yarn for this next part. Once you've cut your two strips, go ahead and set them aside for the time being. And we're just going to pull our wrapped yarn off of our cardboard here. And make sure that you keep the center of the wrapping open. Because the next thing you're going to do is slip one of those pieces of yarn that you just cut to the inside of your tassel. Bring it up to the top, the part that's going to be the top, and you're going to tie a tight knot at the very top there. Another option is doing this part while your yarn is still wrapped around your cardboard or whatever object you chose. You might find that is a little bit easier for you, so go ahead and try that way if you would like to. For our next step, make sure that the center of your tassel is nice and open there. And then just go ahead and cut along the very bottom. It may take a couple of snips depending on how thick your tassel is going to be and how sharp your scissors are. Now we're going to use that second piece of yarn that you cut. So lay it out flat and then lay your tassel on top of it. For this size of tassel, I'm tying it about an inch, maybe an inch and a half from the top. This is another part that's completely up to you and your judgment based on how big your tassel is. Make sure your yarn is tied tightly in a double knot so it stays securely on your tassel. Now 
Now that you've finished tying your knot, go ahead and take those two long ends and wrap them around where you just tied. This gives your tassel a really nice and clean finished look. Now I'm going to take my tapestry needle and thread it with both of the ends. I'm just going to tie a little knot where I just wrapped my yarn around. That way this part of your tassel won't come undone when you're using it. Once you've finished tying your knot, keep the yarn threaded, if possible. <laughs> and then you're going to weave those ends into the middle of your tassel and it will help to conceal both those ends as well as the knot that you just made. Now we're on to our final step. So go ahead and brush out with your fingers the yarn of your tassel. And once they're all nice and straight together, use your fingers, kind of like your hairdresser does. We're gonna trim those ends and make them really nice and even. I also like to hold the ends of the tassel kind of in a fist because this is more of how the tassel will naturally hang. So you can go ahead and do that and then make sure that your ends look really nice and even there as well. Just go through as many times as you feel like you need to to make those ends even and to make sure that you are satisfied with your tassel. And that's it, your tassel is finished. The only thing left to do now is to tie your tassel onto whatever project you're going to put it on. For me, I am going to put it on this orange blanket that I've been working on. The blanket's not finished yet, but I can show you what the tassel is going to look like. I think it's gonna be a really cute addition to this blanket. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the blanket yet, but I'm excited for it to be finished so I can add these tassels on. All right, thanks so much for watching this tassel tutorial. I hope that it helped you out and you were able to make some tassels. I would love to see what you've made, so make sure that you tag me on Instagram. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new crochet-related video. All right, thanks guys, bye.